Hello students. So in this example of uh, introduction of uh, quantum mechanics by David J. Griffith, the example number is 1.1. And this is a wonderful example in which it is given that a rock uh, is dropped from a cliff and it, the height of a cliff from the bottom is h. Then we have to find the average value of distance. So this is a wonderful problem. Let's try to solve it. So let us assume there is a cliff and this is bottom and this height is h. The total height is h actually. And we can easily calculate how much time it will travel such that particle will go to cliff to bottom. And this we can easily calculate it by this formula h is equal to half gt and I can take this total time is t square. So from here, we can easily calculate the total time capital T is basically 2h upon g root under. Now, so we have to calculate the average distance, but somehow if we calculate the probability density, said that probability such that particle will be moved from x to dx, then obviously we can calculate the average distance. So we will just play a trick. What we will do, we will just write each and everything in term of time. And then we will write this time as a function of x. So we can just say if at the distance x, the total distance at the distance x, this dx distance is travel in a time dt. So we have very small, small dt time and we can take a snapshot in a random time and we can calculate how much distance travel in this particular dt. So obviously I can say that my probability is nothing but dt by the total time. So this is total time calculated such that particle will move in total distance h from c to b. So if somehow we can calculate this dt as a function of x, then obviously our half of the work have been done because we have calculated total time as a function of h or total distance. So let's try to calculate time dt and this dt is variable and this is fixed value because h is fixed, g is fixed. And obviously favorable condition by total, con total uh, outcomes is basically probability. So we can have x is equal to half gt square where x and t both are variable. This is independent variable and this is dependent variable. So we can easily calculate dx is equal to g into t x is equal to half gt so dx is equal to g into t and we can write t is equal to basically so gt into dt actually dx is equal to gt into dt so we can write dt as dx by g into t and we can find this t here and this t is basically 2x by g root under is t. Now we can write this t as a function of x and here capital T is also written as a function of h. So yes, we can write this thing as a probability of such that particle will move in a distance x to x plus dx or at r after time t to t plus dt both thing are same so we can just write this thing as dx upon g and this thing as written as root under 2x g and this value is equal to dx by root under 2gx so this is value of dt now obviously this is a ratio and this is just tell you about the probability such that particle will move between x to x plus dx. And then we can write this probability. And this value is can be written as 
dx upon root under 2gx and we have this particular value dt so this value is equal to 2h into g and this probability is given by dx and obviously this is root under 2 into root under x into h and this probability i we can write as a probability density so this can be written as rho x dx and rho x dx is the probability such that particle is moving in a distance x to dx so it's a very wonderful thing so from here we can compare that probability density rho x is proportional to 1 upon root x and when we are going to plot rho x versus x then obviously this is something like that and this value is equal to at x is equal to h this value is equal to nothing but 1 upon 2h and obviously we can also see that for one dimension probability density it has dimension of one upon length and yes it is dimension of one upon length so we have calculated the probability density once we have calculated probability density then average value of x is a, just a cakewalk for us because it's a very simple integration so let us go for average value of x so average value of x we can calculate is nothing but rho x dx obviously we have to calculate over all x but here all x is nothing but 0 to h so this value is equal to 0 so that is x rho x dx and uh, we can also check here rho x dx that is 0 to h that value will be 1 you can easily check this particular integration that value is 1 then only we can say rho x is probability density so here we have 1 upon 2 root under x h x dx 0 to h and this value is 1 upon 2 root h and this value is root h actually and this value is x to the power half dx 0 to h we can easily calculate this particular thing and the value will become to h upon 3 so here average value of x is nothing but h upon 3 and obviously if this distance is h obviously this will be h by 2 and some here is equal to h by 3 so we can see as we have we are approaching towards h the average value is the probability is going to decrease why it is happening we have to think but this is the trend of going for the probability density so how much at the particular x to dx how much time the particle is going to travel if we can think very nicely then obviously we can solve this problem so yes we can know that time and basically distance are correlated and we can use all this formula of kinematics and we can easily find the probability density and average value of x so we can go for next in the next video we will solve different problems